The case in Kadunana is the case of the hunter being hunted as Nasir Elf, a former governor of Kaduna State, is being probed by the House of Assembly. Well, the committee set up by the House of Assembly had submitted their report earlier on today, stating that quite a lot of abnormalities were found in the, you know, tenor and the rain. Oh, did, I, did I use the word rain? Uh, you know, because of the way uh, Nasir Erufai, you know, ran his government. Um, <clears throat> it was a government of, you know, when you say somebody was actually in power. You understand? And like I would always say that power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts, absolutely. And also understand that power is transient. So even if you get to spend, even if you spend a lifetime, sometime, someday, you will get out of the place. And so that's the truth. And so some monies were found. He said they, they, they got to know that certain loans were collected, which were not used for the purpose for which they were collected. And also contracts were being awarded for which they did not follow due process. You know, we find that happening quite a lot of time. But then, Elrufa is now being poked in, you know, certain issues, you understand. Um, the question somebody might want to ask is, well, if we want to check everybody, who will actually be free? Who will actually, I mean, who will we find to actually be clean, you understand? And I hope Elrufa is prepared for uh, for what is coming because when you look at the events that are unfolding um, In fact, they did not even put a notice out There was no notice about his being probed and all of that I'm sure they just set up the committee quietly and they have gone to start checking all the books that needs to be checked So that um, they are able to nab him, but then what will now happen? What will they do? Will they put um, Erufa in prison or what will they what will they do? As a former governor, you know, say immunity no day again. Eh? So now, now, eh, all those one will be say the immunity, the immunity. They no go immunity now. Eh, we we'll catch him if they need to. Eh, catch him. I'm sure they will probably hand him over to the FCC or probably, you know, the bodies that will handle the case appropriately. But at the moment, the report is already at the House of Assembly, you know, with fingers pointing at him to have mismanaged billions of Naira loans that were collected on behalf of the, of the states which were not used for the purpose for which they were collected. You know, we find that happening quite a lot of time. You know, we have states that are heavily indebted to foreign countries, you know, collecting loans on behalf of the state. I remember a particular state in Nigeria where a governor at that time said that, look, our the loans that they had collected, that their children and children, grandchildren will even pay out of it. In fact, at that time, he said that the loan was going to last till about him. If one particular part of the loan was going to last till um, 2042. 2042. So, you know, so you can imagine how how bad things had gone. You know, look at, let's let's take a leap in, into Kogi State. The former governor. Remember, he's still on the run and already on the wanted list of the EFCC. You know, that's um, former governor Yaya Bello how indebted he plunged Kogi State. How into depth he plunged Kogi State. How in depth he plunged Kogi State. Well, maybe we should just talk about Nigeria generally. Um, now that the NLC and TUC have suspended strike, we're looking at what's going to happen next as um, the president already gave an order, like I did the video yesterday and mentioned that the president already given an order to the Ministry of Finance to have within 48 hours what's the calculation and all of it is going to be about the minimum wage. And of course, I think the labor are beginning to look at a hundred thousand now, or probably 150, but then depends on what the agreement is. We hope that they come out with something very, very uh, good. Well, this is still serious matters here at Tony TV. You are free to drop a comment, make them simple, and say, it's all about what's happening in Kaduna State with respect to the former governor of the state. What do you have to say about Nasir Erufa? I know quite a lot of us, we have so many things to say. He's, um, he's uh, the gut he had to take Buhari to court, you know, about the issue of changing, uh, you know, the face of the Naira, uh, you know, towards the end of him leaving office and all of that. But then, uh, uh, is in trouble for that. <laughs> he's already, you know, he's in court for that. Uh, at the moment. Well, let's see what you have to say. Drop a comment. Please make them simple as civil. Thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to share videos with others. We'll appreciate you. God bless you. Bye.